Hello! Testing out a new item here today. This is the 8-inch Chef Knife from Kyocera. And do you think this knife is very sharp? Oh, yes. Amazing. Uh, here's approximately 20 layers of newspaper. Okay. I think that's a, a pretty good edge. Uh, one test for a sharp knife is to see if if you can cut a S out of a piece of paper. There you go. Let's try that again. Yeah, that baby is wicked sharp. I like it. The other thing that's pretty cool about this knife is it weighs in. <clears throat> it weighs in at only uh, 3.9 ounces. 3.9 ounces is pretty nice. It's got the balance. It's got the edge, it's got the, the, the weight and the feel, I like it a lot. Check it out, another review brought to you by your sponsor, ChefDepot.com. the size, the shape, the feel, and the balance of this knife. Really, really nice. And I do like the wide camber of the blade. It's really, really nice. Very, very sharp. You got to be careful. It also doesn't weigh anything. For someone who wants a larger chef knife, kind of lightweight, very, very thin, this might be the, the choice for you. Uh, very quickly, I'm just going to cut a carrot for you here to show you this this knife in action. Uh, the first thing is the rocking motion. Very, very, very simple to use. Okay? And uh, you might like to do carrots like this for a salad or something. Okay? Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is uh, just splitting the carrot. Uh, again, very, very easy to use. Consistent cuts are produced like this. Just uh, splitting. Okay? And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, cut some of these splits into some uh, matchsticks. Okay, first thing we do is we get a straight line like this. And normally these first pieces end up going like in a stock or something, you know. And then the next ones are the really nice ones. So here's a couple of matchsticks for you. Okay. There you go. Those are nice little matchstick sized pieces very easy with a little bit of practice okay and the last thing I'm going to do is a paper thin slice uh, paper thin slice we're gonna take and uh, first we want this carrot to be flat ideally we're just gonna take and go really really thin and I'm gonna show you you can go so thin that you can see through these little slices here you can go a little faster here with practice too So, uh, these are very, very thin slices. You can see through some of these slices here. Okay. Just show you a few of them there. Uh, they, they do uh, show nicely on the ceramic blade, too. You can see how thin that is. You can see right through that, that slice. So, you can go very, very thin. Anyway, that's my review of the knife. It's really nice. These knives are in stock at your sponsor. And that is ChefDepot.com. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'm tossing together another coleslaw and I got this beautiful head of cabbage. This is a nice small one. It's only about maybe uh, two and a half pounds or so. These things get huge. I've seen them 30 pounds. Gigantic. If you get a 30 pound cabbage, you got to cut it up. Okay, once again I'm using this large Kyocera chef knife to easily cut uh, this cabbage. It's going to just bust right through there. Okay, plenty of leverage and size. Uh, for the cabbage. When I'm working with cabbage, I generally remove the core, uh, unless I'm boiling it. So to remove the core, you just want to 
cut it off a chunk like this, okay? And then each of these is going to go through my, uh, my mandolin. One of the nicest things about using a ceramic knife is that they're non-reactive uh, and very easy to clean. I just rinse that off and new again, so pretty nice.